Hello, everybody. I'm Abigail Shire. Welcome to Spiritual Evolution, brought to you by Center for Spiritual Living Seattle. We are here discussing everyday issues and how they relate to our spiritual life. And my guest today is Esther Alley. She's been here before. You may know and already love and adore her like I do. She is a seminary student and just a rock star out in the world, one of my favorite people. So I'm glad you're here, Esther. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful compliments. I wanted to discuss the idea of privilege. Mm -hmm. And part of for me, the healing that's taking place within me is me awakening to the fact that I have privilege, which means that I've inherited privileges, I've inherited benefits, bonuses, uh, things in my life that um, I didn't earn. Basically, unearned rights that I got just by different, uh, by primarily my skin color, because yep. I'm a white woman. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's different ways that you can see privilege. There's uh, men have privilege over women because there's uh, things that men get naturally that women don't get. And there's because I'm able bodied, then, yeah. you know, I don't have to think about so many things than somebody in a wheelchair right. has to think about. Right. So there's different senses of privilege, but really, the, the, the kind of privilege that I wanted to talk about is the fact that I have white privilege. Yes. I have white privilege. And, um, and I will never have it. You will never have that. <laughs> <laughs> you will never have that. And for me, that, that sucks because I, I, when I woke up to this, I was in ministerial school and I was like, I'm a spiritual person. I'm so great. I love everybody. Yes. And can't we all just be equal? And, you know, um, I even had several friends that said, oh, I don't see color because they were. So it doesn't make sense when you say that. How can you not see my color? Uh, boo. Yeah. How can all you not blackness? see me? Yeah. How can you not, not see seeing me? me? <laughs> what are you saying? Right. Yeah. It's almost an insult. And I don't think people understand. Yeah. That's the ignorance of that statement. Mm -hmm. They don't truly understand. And I think sometimes it's um, it's a way of not having to acknowledge the white privilege. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, uh -huh. that's something that you awaken to. So that gives you an opportunity to try to heal that or try to equalize it in your life. Mm -hmm. But. Again, the first step of healing is acknowledgement. Yes. And most white people do not want to acknowledge that they have this unearned privilege just mm -hmm. because they're part of the ruling class. Mm -hmm. Okay? And well, and I don't have to. I don't have to acknowledge why do it I because have to? Yeah, why do I have to? <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah. And for someone to say I don't see color. They don't even recognize the insult of that because I'm very proud of being a black woman. I want you to see me yeah. in all my glory right? as a black woman. Yeah. I want, you know what? I want to be acknowledged. I know that I will never, no matter how hard I work, no matter how nice I am, how sweet I am, how great I am, will earn the white privilege that you have. Right. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay, because as we were talking earlier, I went through a lot of that early in my life, volunteering, mm -hmm. doing political work, working with nonprofits, you know, trying to, I mean, even with the Black Panthers in L.A., the whole bit, you know, mm -hmm. we, I went through all that, and I had to come to the realization that I'm more than this skin color. Nice. I'm more than this flesh. Mm -hmm. I am a spiritual being. And I had to rise above that because this doesn't make me. And just as your skin doesn't make you and all the right privilege that you have, it ain't greater than the spirit of God. It ain't right. greater than the universe. And trust me, it has not been a hindrance to me because I've made the choice to not allow that to be a hindrance to me. Mm -hmm. Now, I do see the injustice. It's not that I don't see the injustices in the world. It's not that I don't see the suffering of my people and of many other minority people. I mean, it breaks my heart to look at how those children are being separated from their mothers. But when I think back in history, this isn't nothing new. They used to take the slave children and sell them off from their parents. This is a continuation of that, this, of this system. Right. So 
how do I, as a black female, live in this world? Mm -hmm. I know there's a greater purpose for us as a human race. And I have to. This is my responsibility. No one else's. I can't put this on anyone else. But I choose to look at it from a spiritual level and recognize that we are all one, regardless of what you think. What you think is none of my business. What mm -hmm. I think is what matters. And what I believe and how I arrange my life and show up in the world, that's what I can control. I can't control what the rest of the world is doing. And through my beliefs, my prayers, my understanding, my gratitude, I can then affect change in the world. One person yeah. at a time. I think I think what you what you say is so important and and so there's there's kind of two things that that happen one is somebody who has um received injustice for um li a lifetime right and then rising above that injustice and being willing to say I'm not going to let this dictate my life or my connection to the divine right and then there's this whole group of people who are like really connected to the divine spirit and yet don't even want to see that there's all of this injustice going on. And to me, that's kind of, there's then they're a spiritual not connected. bypass. Then they're there's not connected. Okay, right? that's right. It's a spiritual bypass. Spiritual bypass. Because you cannot not see it. Right. You cannot not acknowledge what is happening in our world. It, it, we, we're in this world. We can be in it, but not of it, but we're still going to see the injustice. And if you don't see it, then you don't affect any change in it. Exactly. And, yeah. and I think um, Ernest Holmes said there's the, unity is not uniformity. And I think that no. that's where there's a huge confusion yes. with, with spiritual people. They're right. like, oh, we're all one. We're yeah. all connected. You know, it's all. I don't see all, color. We're all just one. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And, and actually for me, unity means I see the differences even more. Like I revel in the diversity of the right, divine. Right, right. And I also know that if you're a part of God and I'm a part of right, God right. and you're having an injustice, that right. means a part of me is having an injustice, which means, I, and, and yes. I have a way to stand up and speak about it, yes. then I'm going to do that. Yes, yes. I'm going to yes. do it because I care so much about you and it's it's interesting you said because i've had white women say to me well how can i help how can i make a difference you spoke of charity earlier mm -hmm. and sometimes people think helping is throwing money at it or mm -hmm. trying to fix it the mm -hmm. way they think it should be fixed that's not how you can help what you can help the way you can help is by calling out those injustices, mm -hmm. standing up as a white person and say, yeah, I'm just like you. My color is the same, but what you're doing is not okay. Right. This is not all right with me, and I am not going to be a part of it. Even in conversations, when they're having those conversations behind closed doors about different races, standing up in that meeting and saying, you know what? We're spiritual people. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. What God are you serving? Mm -hmm. You are talking about yourself just in a different shade. That's yeah. all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's when no one is watching. When there's not mm -hmm. a person of color that can see you stand up, you stand up for that. That's integrity. That's being true to yourself. That's really saying, I want to right this wrong. Yeah. And the more of you that do it, the more people that stand up and say, this is not okay. I truly accept and believe in my heart that I am one with all people. It doesn't matter the color of the skin. It doesn't matter the sexual orientation or the sexual choice or whatever. It doesn't matter whether you're white, black, green, orange, you know, <laughs> cripple, lame, lazy, whatever. We're all from the same source. Mm -hmm. We're all divine expressions and one not more than the other. Yeah, we're here for different reasons, for different purpose, so that the universe can experience itself in so many ways. So, okay, when you really truly understand and accept that, then you'll see the injustice and do something about it. Mm -hmm. You'll see the injustice and do what's because spirit will lead you. 
if you listen. Yeah. And that's how that goes. That's that's this privileged thing. You know, not, you know, the more people wake up and recognize, oh yeah, this is not balance. Let's change this. Yeah. And I and think not it's... by throwing money or let me let me help you. No, no. <laughs> help yourself by being true and honest to what spirit in you is really all about. Because it's the same spirit in me. Yeah. That's juicy, juicy stuff, Esther. I love it. Thank Thank you you. so much. And for those of you out there, we'll have more conversations about our everyday happenings and and how we can really make a difference and make an impact, both inwardly and outwardly. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye.